Hi everybody, welcome to a special edition of Tea Time with Tanya. This is a viewer question. This one is for Queen Risa S. Her question is, is she moving um, forward spiritually? I mean, I'm, I'm looking at my notes. I had to put them away. Is she moving in the right direction spiritually? So Queen Risa S., this reading, this special reading is for you. I am using my Osho Zen tarot deck. Um, it's a mirror, a very soft, loving deck. This is the deck I use for uh, personal readings. So I'm going to shuffle them. Will Queen Risa, is she moving in the right direction spiritually. Is Queen Risa moving in the right direction spiritually? Is Queen Risa moving in the right direction spiritually? I'm gonna draw five cards for you, Risa. Okay, here we go. Five cards. I'm going to read them from left to right. Your first card is nothingness. This is a, actually an, an excellent card. Nothingness is nothing. There's, there's nothing there. There's nowhere to go. There's nothing to do. Nothingness is, is just that. It, it, it is it's the absence of. So... Your second card, flowering. So you have nothingness to flowering. If you can see, you're going from the, the blueprint to the awakening. The flowering is you stepping into your spirituality, stepping into your, um, into your truth. Your third card is rebirth. So you are... Becoming, and that goes right along with the flowering. This is all, it's a step. It's like a like an embryo becoming a, a baby that is being birthed into the world. So your, your fourth card is experiencing, okay? Experiencing. This is you going out into the world, learning who you are, experiencing all that the universe has put in front of you to have. And your last card is isolation. Now, I don't know if you're a water sign. I'm a Pisces and I'm guilty of this. I'm a water sign. And um, sometimes we will isolate ourselves because it's a safe place. Um, no one can hurt you when you're alone. You're... Your spiritual becoming um, can take place in isolation or it can take place with other people. Don't let isolationism become a prison for you. You're going to have to learn how to balance. Um, but as far as these cards are saying, yes, I would say that you are well on your your way into on your spiritual path. There's nothing here except for this last card. Now, if you look at the isolation, if you look at the man in the picture, he's crying. So sometimes isolation is not the best thing. So if you are isolating yourself, Queen Risa, find an outlet, find a productive outlet, art, music, um, taking a walk, climbing, um, doing something that to break out of, get out of the house, go outside and play. Um, spend some time with someone you love. Go have coffee, go have lunch. But break the monotony, break up the monotony. Um, and your spiritual path 
is always with you. It's not something that you have to strive for. It's always there. And even when you don't think you're working on yourself, you are. So my, my, my advice, and I know you didn't really ask for it, but is that you are doing just fine. You're doing just fine. Just make sure that you don't put yourself into a position to where your your alone time makes you lonely, okay? So I know some water signs like to be alone. Me, I, I enjoy my me time. But there are times where I need to be around other people for my sanity, even if it's just to hear another voice. So with that said, I am going to read a blessing card for you. This is from my Namaste deck. So this blessing is especially for you, Risa, and on your spiritual journey. Okay. Your blessed power. You are a field of endless possibility with unlimited power to create. Every atom of you is full of abstract potential that can be molded into any form. Every particle of you holds the blueprint of creation. You are a force of nature and a great blessing on this earth. Namaste. That blessing was especially for you, Queen Risa. Have a blessed day. Thank you for your question. Namaste. And if you're watching this, please like, share, and subscribe. This is Tea Time with Tanya. I do political tarot. I also do uh, free readings for anyone that has a question for me. Only thing I ask you to do is, is to um, subscribe to my channel and um, click the bell notification so that when I answer your question, I can let you know that it's been answered. And if you'd like to like and share, that's awesome. I'm trying to grow my channel. And I, I need some shout outs. So... Thank you very much. Thank you, Risa, for your question. I hope this helps you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.